Hey everybody, I'm Kent C. Dodds and I am super excited about the Apps SDK that was announced by OpenAI just today because it is built on top of MCP. What have I been telling you? MCP is how we're, users are going to be interacting with your uh, services in the future and OpenAI has adopted this in a huge degree. So I'm super excited about this and I'm especially excited about the demo that they showed to us uh, today because this is exactly the way that I expected MCP to uh, turn our user interaction model to. So here's, here's the quick rundown of why this all matters. Your users don't want to use your user interface. They want to just talk to your application. But you could say, okay, yeah, great, I'll build a chatbot for my app. But the users don't want to have to talk to 30 different chatbots, especially when they have one task they want to complete that's related to all of these different services. So instead, they want to talk to a single agent that can talk to all of these other services for them. And that's exactly what MCP enables and what ChatGPT uh, has announced that they will be supporting very, very soon. So it's in testing phases right now, but we're months away from this experience landing in the laps of all of our users. And I'm so excited about this because I think that it's going to be a better experience for users and it's going to uh, make it so that you can serve your users better. So uh, here he talks also about login. So authentication, authorization, monetization, all of that is going to be built into the apps SDK, which again, is built on top of MCP, uh, which is so, so cool. He gives a, a quick demo of using Figma to do cool stuff and, and Spotify, but then uh, Alexi comes out and gives this actual like live demo of all of this stuff working, which is pretty awesome. And one thing, uh, as he starts out, he's saying, okay, Coursera, teach me something about machine learning. And the cool thing about this is that uh, this has not uh, been installed yet. So right here, connecting to app is what's happening. And um, at this point, we go through an OAuth flow to authenticate uh, Alexi's uh, ChatGPT instance with uh, Coursera so that he has access to all the private stuff that he's paying for or whatever, which I think that is like fantastic. That's exactly the way that this should work. That uh, And it's all built on top of the uh, MCP protocol for authorization. So this is OAuth 2.1. Uh, every no new proprietary thing that needs to happen in here and the fact that the server discovery just naturally happens uh, based on the conversation is really really awesome uh, as well so now in particular he uh, referenced Coursera specifically but he also mentioned that uh, ChatGPT can just decide that an app is appropriate to answer somebody's question rather than using a built-in tool or, or something um, which I think is really really awesome as well now Coursera responds with with custom UI, um, which is like stellar. Now uh, you're able to just with a special resource return some custom UI. And on top of that, um, it also of course includes text. Sometimes UI and text together is uh, exactly what the user is looking for. Um, but on top of this, um, you're able to communicate with the uh, AI assistant and it is able to know what's going on inside of that UI as well so that um, you can talk with that uh, uh, with the agent about specifically what you're experiencing in the UI, which I think is super, super cool. All you have to do as the uh, app builder is provide the right tools. And again, all MCP focused, which I just think is fabulous that it's on an open standard. Taking this further, now uh, we're talking about Canva, or talking with uh, Canva and uh, generating this. You'll notice that uh, this is gonna be a uh, like a carousel experience and so um, ChatGPT has implemented a, a couple different um, mechanisms for displaying UI that um, uh, make the most sense for the scenario. We'll talk about that here in just a sec too. Um, and taking that further, now we've got um, this Zillow experience and with Zillow, it decides, hey, you know what? This needs to be full screen because I've got a lot of stuff that I, I need to show here. And I really like this user experience because it allows uh, the, the UI to be like the main player here, the main character, but then we still have that chat box uh, so that we can chat with the AI. And on top of that, even though we have this filtering capability inside of Zillow, we are able to interact with um, 
the UI using natural language. And this is so great because your users don't want to learn your interface. They want to just say what they want to have happen and then you make it happen. And all you have to do is expose the right tools uh, to make that happen. And I think that is really powerful. And this user experience of uh, making the, um, the UI be the main character and then adding a chat bot uh, or, or like a chat interface to control that UI is really powerful. And so uh, OpenAI basically just made it so you don't need to build your own chatbot. OpenAI is the chatbot and you just expose your service to OpenAI appropriately. I think that is a super, super powerful um, piece to all of this. Um, so super happy with this. Uh, I'm excited that uh, OpenAI has, been, has adopted this. Now a couple of things. Uh, here's the documentation on how all of this works. OpenAI does have a proprietary directory of servers that are allowed to be uh, accessible. So you can say, hey, I need a playlist of music for this thing. And it will suggest, hey, here's Spotify app that you can use. Um, but it might not suggest something else that's not in the directory. And um, I would like this to be more like an open web thing because I think that the open web is, is great and you you don't have to get permission to be in the uh, web. You just get a URL and boom, now everybody can uh, go to your website. And I think that is great. That said, there's a lot of uh, trust and privacy and a lot of unanswered questions around all of this stuff that we're still trying to work out. And so I think that it makes a lot of sense that they have a directory with like specific guidelines on um, how you can um, uh, what what your server can actually do and and the descriptions of the text and and the authorization and, and different things like that uh, it makes a lot of sense that they're going to start with uh, kind of more of a closed ecosystem I hope it does open up in the future I prefer the web model over the App Store model um, but either way MCP is going to be a big part of all of this uh, the other thing that kind of disappoints me a little bit is uh, the, the way that they do custom UX this is proprietary. Um, having a specific open AI uh, global variable that you use to communicate between the iframe that is your UI and the parent frame, uh, I think that um, would be better if it were more of a standard like MCP UI, which um, is a thing. And, and uh, I just finished teaching a bunch of people about MCP UI and it's, it's usable in other apps, not in ChatGPT, but uh, the really cool thing is two cool things. First of all, I actually really like this API. I feel like it's really well thought out. Um, I've read through all of this and it's um, I, I think it's great. Um, the other thing is I've talked with folks from OpenAI already about this and they do want this to become more of a standard than um, just be a proprietary OpenAI thing only. And so they start with OpenAI as this global variable just because they want to make sure that it's um, a, a good setup that they've made all the right decisions and then they can get into a standards process and based on the experience that i've had with OpenAI folks uh, over the last several months i feel like they actually do care a lot about standards and that is really encouraging coming from one of the top players in the AI space. So I'm very enthusiastic about what they're doing there. Uh, and I'm just enthusiastic. I've been telling you this stuff for months that MCP is the um, basically the new website. And I think that this is going to be a really good thing for users because the user experience is just so phenomenally better. And so if you believe that as well, then I invite you to join me on epicai.pro slash newsletter, where you can sign up and we can talk about this this more. I've got a bunch of courses about the fundamentals and advanced features of MCP. I do talk about MCP UI and uh, authorization and all of the things that you need to know to be able to build apps for OpenAI uh, as of today. And so I'm very excited to offer that to you very soon. So sign up here and you'll be the first to hear about it. Thank you so much for joining me and have a beautiful day.